One thing I know that you talk a lot about is the experience of Black men in this country, the ways that Black men uh, interact with and communicate with each other, and also how men and women communicate with each other. It almost seems like you have created for yourself this ability to to model something. So can you wow. talk a little bit about that? Like where where does that come from? Women, 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 folks who identify as women. I, I can't take credit for it. Um, my mother, you know. Um, like you have, through your own life, made some decisions that no, you weren't going to go down this more standard or traditional path of like going to work for UPS or one of those things. You're going to be a creative and you're going to speak your heart. My mother was deeply affected by my father. They were married, and um, but I saw my father two or three times until I was uh, eight years old. We went to a, a drugstore where there was a payphone back before they had Androids and iPhones, right? And um, she asked, she called my father asking, can you help us? Can you help us? And on this particular day, my mother said to my father, um, my father said to my mother, pardon me, you lied to me. He's not my son. And cursed her out and hung up the phone. Never heard from him again. You know, uh, I never saw him again. You know, so my mother would say, oh, she was deeply affected by it. And, you know, I had this conversation a while ago with Yana Van Zandt, maybe a couple of weeks ago, actually, where because of my own years of going to therapy, I, it, I had to learn how to forgive my father, but also forgive my mother because she she didn't have the emotional tools to process what happened to her. She was so profoundly hurt. I, she would say, don't be like your father, but she didn't know what to say what I should be like. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? She did the best she could. And honestly, you know, if we're real about it, this country was not just founded on racism, it was founded on sexism. They didn't say all men and women are created equal. That's right. They said all men, and they were talking about working, uh, wealthy white males, you know, slave masters, slave owners, and they, were, they weren't even talking about poor whites or anyone else. It's certainly not women of any background. I didn't, I didn't understand these things. And so I get to college, you know, the first, as I mentioned earlier, reading Malcolm X's autobiography, studying Malcolm, taught me the power of self-reflection. It taught me the power of constantly reinventing yourself and not being afraid to tell the truth, you know? And so I was literally trying to figure out how to be a man without knowing how to be a man, honestly, mm. you know, and, and I can- Like you have, through your own life, made some decisions that no, you weren't going to go down this more standard or traditional path of like going to work for UPS or one of those things. You're going to be a creative and you're going to speak your heart. It means something. Mm. you know, that that could help me to mold this thing as I was 18, 19, 20, 21, 25, because I didn't know. I had no clue, you know, and I've read a lot of male writers. I certainly read Malcolm, read Langston. As I mentioned, I read James Baldwin. I read Richard Wright, Mary Baraka. The only woman writer I read during my four years at Rutgers University in college uh, was Zora Neale Hurston, there I was watching God. Other mm. than that, I was basically perpetuating or continuing the very sexist, patriarchal, misogynistic education I had gotten since I was a child in kindergarten going forward. Because as you know, where are women and girls, you know, in the, in our education, in math and science and literature and history, absent for the most part, you know what I mean? And it wasn't until I moved across the river from Jersey into New York, and here I am, you know, at this point, because I made a conscious decision when I was 18, I'm going to be a writer, an artist, I'm going to be an activist, I'm going to fight for social justice, and I'm going to be an artist.